Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Zach Ward and today we're going to be doing another workout like a celebrity video. This time we got Sylvester Stallone when he's working out for Rocky. So in honor of this, in honor of me being inconsistent as well, I'm going to be eating a raw egg. You heard me. A raw egg. If you guys don't believe me, that is a raw egg, boys. Got some fruit, other stuff to wash it down just in case. I'm going to set you guys down right here. We're going to go back. going to grab this. I'm going to let you guys be with me on this journey. I'm not sure if this is going to taste good or bad. I'm hoping it's going to taste good. But I know it's not. In a way. Got our egg. Here's hoping it's decent, man. Be decent, please. Oh, most of it went down just a tiny bit right there disgusting very disgusting sorry for the bad camera angle I would not recommend end of story do not eat those. Do not eat a raw egg, please. It's not great. I had to chew on it, bro. I literally had to chew on it because I didn't like start around. I literally had to chew on the egg to get it to go down. I'm still pale, but somewhere I'm be fit and uh, tan. But yeah, let's go downstairs and let's get this workout in. All right, boys, we are downstairs and let's go ahead and get into this workout. Sylvester Stallone likes his big upper chest, so we're gonna start out with some four sets of eight to 10 reps of the incline bench press. And we're also gonna do four sets of eight to 10 reps on the one arm ladder races. So let's go and get started for the first part of this workout. I'm excited. Let's see how this goes, boys. I'm young, I'm one yes away. You can't keep telling me no forever. You can't keep denying me forever. This type of energy, this type of passion. You can't stop it. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop. This is life. And you can't defeat me. There's, there is not. You don't have enough power. You don't have enough energy. All right, boys. Set one is done. We got three more to go. I'm going to take a quick break with some water. I'll be back. As you might, you do not have hate, does not have enough energy to destroy love. You cannot destroy this. And so I'm telling you today, it's going to be a dog fight. And the sooner you realize it's going to be a dog fight. Okay, so let me, let me just say this to you. So, so in, in America, right, and I'm sure it's the same thing here, but they're, they're in our armed forces. Let's just pick one, the Navy, for instance. Set number of dose is down. Yes, sir. Two more to go. Feel like Rocky, man. All right, boys, scoring in set number three. Let's go. Cringy, but it's all right. Added five pounds, because I'm weak, but it's all right. We're going to get strong one day. Discipline. So give me something practical. What's the first practical thing that they would teach you? Say it again. Defending yourself. Somebody over here. How to swim. Listen to me very closely. The first thing they teach you, the very first thing they teach you, is how to respond when you have a jam gun. And number two, how to carry your dead body. That's the first thing they teach you. They don't teach you how to defend yourself. They don't teach you how to swim. The first thing they teach you is- when Set three down, we got one more to go. Rest up and get through it. Dead body, how to carry a dead body. And somebody tell me, why would they start you there? That's the worst case scenario. That's what you're not prepared for. That's what you're not thinking. You're not thinking when you go out there to defend yourself that your gun is going to jam. You're not, you're not thinking when you go out there that your boy going to get killed and you got to drag. You're not thinking that. So listen to me. It's not, it's not hardships that hurt us. It's not my cousin getting shot twice. It's not my cousin spending 50 years in jail. It's not my eyes down the camera. We just finished with that. Let's see what we got next. We got dumbo flies and close grip. We got dumbo flies. And we do wide grip chin ups at the same time as that. So then we'll do that and close grip bench at the same time. So we got four sets for 10 to 12 reps on the dumbbell flies and wide grips. We got four sets, eight to 10 reps. So let's go. 
Let's play two. Like I'm Sylvester, bro. Psh, psh, psh. I'm here because I'm prepared for it. If you know anything about me, I still lay on floors. I still eat chips off the floor. I still do some stuff that to most people is crazy. Like, E.T., why would you do that? Because I'm always prepared that we may not live in that house one day. One day something might happen and we might have to go back to that. And if I have to go back to that, it's not going to break me. And so I present to you a diamond. Most women love them. Round one of that stuff. I'm going to get some water and get back. Most women love them. And most guys have to work a long time to be able to get a nice one. <laughs> the thing we covered the most, and then for a diamond to be produced, it must first go through extreme heat. Extreme heat. Extreme pressure. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? For a diamond to- Set two is down, two more to go. Let's go. Extreme heat. And if that wasn't enough, what makes a diamond a diamond is the cut. So I put, you are put through, if you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. After you go through all the pressure you thought you could not handle, and you think it's over, then they turn on the heat. Of all the stuff I've gone through in my life, eat not- All right, boys, just finished set three. One more to go. My arms are pretty tired already. And uh, upper chest and lower chest getting hit. Feeling the burn already. And we got a lot more to do. So let's get this last set out and continue on to the next thing. Cause I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can handle it. It didn't happen to me at 19. It didn't happen to me at 20. It didn't happen to me at 30. It happened to me at 40. After I had been through all the, all the pressure I thought I could go through. Life said, you finished with all the pressure? Finish that. Let's see what we got next. I know we got close grip branch. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see. We got close grip branch, five sets, six to eight reps. And we also got raised leg crunches and then tricep over tricep overhead extensions so with the leg crunches i'm not gonna do them on the floor i'll do them on the bar right there so i don't want to record me on the floor because that'd be awkward i'd rather just record me you know, right here so we'll do the bench then we'll go to the overhead real quick and then we'll go to that for leg crunches we got eight to ten reps three sets for close grip bench we got five sets six to eight reps and for the seated overhead rows, or the seated uh, overhead extensions, my bad. We got three sets, eight to ten, so the so the the leg the leg raises and the uh, overhead extension will go together. The bench, I'll just have two extra sets, and that's it. So let's go ahead and bang these boys out. Let's go. You say it's gonna be a dog fight. And if you soft, this ain't the, you want to get out now. <laughs> this is where you like, I quit. But if you're willing to say, I'm not going to quit, I guarantee you whatever success you want to have, you're going to have it. All right, so here's number one. I'm, I apologize. It took a long time to get to number one. Number one, Denzel Washington, you must be very intentional and deliberate. You must be very intentional and deliberate. The stuff that you wrote down on that piece of paper is not gonna happen by osmosis. You're not gonna wake up one day and find a law degree. All right, boys, set one is down. We got four more to go in the, the close grip. We got two more to go on both the leg. Uh, you know what I was just doing, the leg things. And uh, tricep extensions. I can't think when I'm in there working out. Like, I just can't think. But, uh, yeah, four more sets the most to go, and we're through with this workout. I made up in my mind that nothing's going to stop us from having a daily relationship. I will do whatever it takes, make whatever adjustments I need to make. So it's going to be a dog fight, but I'm telling you from personal experience, you don't have to start with anything. <laughs> I'm a living example. You don't have to have anything to get started, not even a daddy. No, I'm being real with you. Not a, not a bank account. Not a name. 
Not a camera. We didn't have a camera when we first started. Not even business cards. We don't, still don't have business cards. People say, how are you so successful with our business cards? I don't know. We just say, here, take our number down. <laughs> All right, boys. We're set two. Done. One more set for two of the workouts. What are the mess? Three more to go. And uh, yeah, let's keep pushing. Be intentional and deliberate is please. You have to hear this. I believe in rugby that both teams are professionals, correct? Listen to me, both teams are professional. Both guys have, you know, started young and are, they all, have, you know, are all, you know, physically able to play the game. But what happens is you have one team that's good in spurts. You have another team that's dominant. Come on, come on, hear what I'm telling you. When I say, when I say I need you to be intentional and deliberate, hear me, I want to paint the picture. You have one team that, that, that has the ability to score. They have the ability to do well. They have the ability to score on the opponent. What their challenge is, is that they can't do it. They... All right, we got two more sets left on the close grip bench. I'm feeling sore. I'm going to tell. It's worked out a lot of new muscles that I don't really work out a lot. So I'm definitely going to incorporate some of these into my regular workouts. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this last set in. Last two sets, best sets, baby. They, they put pressure on you from the time you start to the very end. Like, oh, even when they're up, they continue to dominate. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday, you might be strong. Uno set to go, baby. Uno set to go. Uno set to go. It's hump day. I thought every day was hump day. It's hump day. I thought, I thought Sunday was hump day. I thought Sunday is where you really get started. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping, you are hoping that- All right, boys, just finished the Rocky upper body workout. I feel worn out, blood. Uh, I can't wait to improve, baby. Hold me accountable. Let me know down below what other videos you guys want to see. I got a Batman one coming because someone wants to see a Batman video. And yeah, that being said, leave a comment down below. Make sure that sub button, share with your friends and your family and your dogs and animals. I'm so tired. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.